How to set up Jenkins CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment for ECS using Laravel. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing. What is Jenkins? How to set up CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment through Jenkins for ECS using Laravel. Use cases. Our client utilizes a Laravel application deployed on ECS. The application's code resides in Bitbucket. We aim to leverage Jenkins pipelines for automating the build and deployment procedures. To accomplish this, we followed the steps outlined in a corresponding instructional video. Should you require help in performing this step? Please feel to contact us in the email mentioned. Contact at easydeploy.io. Prerequisites. AWS account. AWS account with ECS and ECR full access. Basic knowledge about Jenkins. What is Jenkins? Jenkins is an open source automation server used primarily for continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines. It allows developers to automate the process of building, testing, and deploying software applications. Here's how it works. Developers commit code changes to a version control system like Git. Jenkins monitors the version control system for changes. When changes are detected, Jenkins pulls the code, initiates the build process, and runs automated tests. If the build and tests are successful, Jenkins can deploy the application to various environments, such as development, staging, or production. How to set up CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment through Jenkins for ECS using Laravel. Search for EC2. I already created an instance with Jenkins installed. Go inside the instance. Scroll down and select security. Open the ports which were shown in the video. Click connect. Now click connect. Type sudo su to switch to root user. Now let's check if the Jenkins server is running or not. Type the following command to check the status of Jenkins. We can see that Jenkins is active. Now type the following command to switch to Jenkins user. We should configure AWS credentials. Type AWS configure. I already given the AWS access and secret access key. If you don't have one, you can create an user and create access key and secret access key. Type exit to come out of the Jenkins server. Now search for ECR. I already created an repository and pushed an image to the repository. Search for ECS. I already created in cluster and service. Now go to the instance which we created. Copy the public IP. Paste here with port 8080 and open the Jenkins server. Give username and password to login.
click on Manage Jenkins. Click on Plugins. Go to the available plugins and install the plugins shown in the video. After selecting the plugins, click on Install. Our installation is successful. Click on Restart Jenkins. Let's wait for the Jenkins to be restarted. After restarting, we should give our username and password to log in. Click on Dashboard. Now go to the Bibucket. This is the repository which contains the source code of Laravel. Click on Repository Settings. Go inside Webhooks. Click on Add Webhook. Give a title to our webhook. In URL, we should give the URL of the Jenkins server. Copy the Jenkins URL. Paste here. Click on Generate Secret. Scroll down and click Save. I already created a Docker file. I also created a Jenkins pipeline file. Here I mentioned the environments from ECS and ECR. Now go to Jenkins Server. Click on New Item. Give a name to the item. Here I am selecting Pipeline as we are doing Pipeline in this video. Click OK. Enable GitHub Project. Here we should give the repository link in which we are working. In Build Trigger, enable Build when a change is pushed to the Bitbucket. Paste the repository link. Enable Pull SCM. Here I am giving five asterisk symbols. It indicates that it will pull every minute. You can see examples if you click on Help icon. In Pipeline Definition, select Pipeline Script from SCM. In SCM, select Git. Give the repository link which has the source code of Laravel. We don't have any credentials, so we are going to create a new one. Give the username and password of the Bitucket.
Now click Add. It shows failed to connect to repository because an instance we didn't install Git. Go to the instance which we created. Type the following command to install the Git. We have successfully installed Git. We are working in main branch, so I am giving main. Click Apply and Save. Now click on Build Now. You can see that there is an error in build stage. It shows permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon. Go to the server and type the following command to give permission to Docker daemon. Go back to the Jenkins server. Click Build Now. The pipeline is completed successfully. Go to the AWS console and go to ECS. The task which we done now is in pending state. Now go inside the task and copy the public IP. Browse the copied IP. You can see that Laravel framework is successfully running. Now let's change the source code of the Laravel and let's see if it is automatically triggered or not. I am changing the title. Click Commit. Now let's go back to the Jenkins and see it automatically triggered or not. You can see that the pipeline is in pending stage. Pipeline is executed successfully. Now go to the ECS. Go inside the task and copy the public IP. Now browse the copied IP. You can see that the title is changed. When we change the source code, it automatically triggers the pipeline and the changes are made. Check the description for the repository link and the commands which I used in this video. Conclusion We have seen 
What is Jenkins? How to set up CI CD pipeline to automate build and deployment through Jenkins for ECS using Laravel. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.